friends, fiends, uh, monsters of the internet. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing the same video I did last year because it was a good time and people liked it, I think. Um, where I paint shit that I shouldn't be painting and I talk about conspiracies. Now I have some interesting conspiracies for you today that are honestly gonna be jumbled because you know me, I don't fucking form coherent sentences. Who does that? I got my water, my box of some painting, some painting supplies. What are all these angry birds out here? And to paint, I have my uh, high school diploma because fuck school. When am I ever gonna use this to get into college? But whatever, I just fucking wipe it off or something. And this book that I honest to God don't care too much about. Um, I thought it was a good concept, I just don't like reading, so I take the dust cover off, paint the book, and if it turns out shit, I got a dust cover. And I'm not trying to paint anything coherent again, because like, if I do that, then I won't talk to you guys. I got this thing where if I'm painting or drawing, then nothing is going to come out of my mouth because I need the utmost focus, because it then generally takes all of my energy to complete a painting. I just fucking paint whatever I want. For the first conspiracy theory that I wanted to talk about that I thought was super duper interesting was uh, the conspiracy theory that the Earth or um, the world actually did end in 2012. So one of the things was that they had, so everybody knows about the Mandela effect, right? That we, you're in another universe and things are kind of fucked up a little bit. That's why Bernstein is Bernstein or whatever the fuck, maybe it's the other way around. When the world ended in 2012, we kind of shifted into another dimension because maybe the earth couldn't take it or some shit. It was like, can't let all these people die. It went into another dimension and that's why we have another, a lot of different things. We have a lot of residue from the old uh, world. Like they said that you can go into the torch of the um, Statue of Liberty. You can go into the torch of the Statue of Liberty or at least you used to, but now they're saying like, no, you've never been able to go into the torch. It's always been closed off. Not true absolutely not true because people have remembered going into the torch and that's just some of the things that were left over for the residue and this isn't just about the mandela effect but the mandela effect sort of plays a part into the fact that the world ended in 2012 so that's part of it is that when the world ended we kind of went into another dimension you know so now we're kind of living in that dimension and that's why there's so many things left over and things that um shouldn't really exist you know my dog's barking. And then another theory, another little fact that they had about that, and this one's, this one's kind of subjective, but a lot of people say like they haven't really felt the way they used to back in 2012. 20, like one, maybe 2012 was just a wonder year, maybe we're just growing up, but people have noted that ever since 2012 and the supposed day that uh, 2012 uh, was supposed to end everything just kind of gone to shit like you know There's a bunch of mass shootings a lot of shits happening around the world global warming You know, it's kind of just fucked and these things have been prevailing But now they're being like oh you're gonna die from this shit, you know, and it's also worth noting This is not part of the conspiracy theory when hold on. There's a plane going by give it a minute. Fuck you Anyways another thing worth noting about the conspiracy theory was Not it's not really part of the theory but like when I was in middle school the day the world was supposed to end the lights turned off in our school maybe that was us transitioning see bro shit's happening we just don't acknowledge it because the government wants us to believe something else the government could end us anytime they wanted everybody going to area 51 my co-worker said she was like you know everybody going to area 51 isn't gonna get shot down but if they're gonna go they're probably gonna get some like old thing from when they were younger as in like maybe the government is like oh let's decide to persecute you now for that candy bar you stole when you were younger another conspiracy theory that i wanted to talk about was the area 51 conspiracy just because it's so kind of prevalent now since they're doing the raid area 51 i won't be participating in that because my mom said no but i wish you all kyle's and weeaboo's luck i genuinely believe in you i want you to clap some Never mind, I can't say that on camera. I want you guys to have fun. Tell me how it is. Bring an alien or two back for me. Please, I beg you. So since that's going on so much now, I figured I'd talk about the conspiracy of alien, uh, the, of Area 51. And this is actually something that a commenter brought up, the only commenter of my Area 51 video, Gang Gang, I hope you see this. Anyways, he's talking about how, uh, and I'm choosing to entertain this just because it's fun, but like, what if, 
they knew that we were gonna go to Area 51 because they aliens got some future vision. There's an ant on my paint palette. Anyways, so they knew that we were gonna go into Area 51 because the aliens saw it with their alien technology. And so the government was like, let's fake an Area 51, make everybody think the aliens are here, and then we'll just go do some shady shit somewhere else. And maybe Bob Lazar really is talking about Area 51, but he's talking about a different Area 51. Actually, I don't know shit about what Bob Lazar says, so take that with a grain of salt. But anyways, it would make sense because why is Area 51 so publicized? Like seriously, I feel like we shouldn't know about a military base, especially if it's doing as dangerous stuff as testing. Because as far as I know, the people that I've talked to who have been sort of close to military or know people who are in military, most of their, their operations are kept pretty secret and most of their bases are kept pretty secret. So why would we know so much about this Area 51 and this military base and be able to walk up to the gates without getting killed, but the military is all about secretism and keeping everything under wraps. And I feel like they're smarter than that to just let us kind of conjure up our own conspiracy theories. Like maybe aliens do exist, but I don't believe, hey, B, I don't believe they exist in Area 51 as we know it just generally because that'd be super fucking dumb of them. And I have to I have to believe that our government is made of at least a little bit of smart people. If you're gonna employ scientists, girl, please hire some smart people that will tell you like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't keep all of our alien shit in an area where everybody knows about and everybody already speculates that aliens are already here. Or we just move or some shit. Honestly, it's so hot in here. I don't know why I chose to do this outside. I kinda wanted to get my dopamine, but now I'm just sweating. So here's the product of my little rant um, while painting. I had to sit down and like be quiet for a bit because otherwise it wasn't getting done, but you guys didn't see that because I cut it. Ha! But look at that! I actually like this a lot. Pretty cool, huh? So now on to my next piece, which is my... Uh, I guess I can show this to you because there's a lot of different high schools named the same thing. So here's my diploma. And I'm covering the name, so no weirdos try to contact me. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye. Kind of hard getting all the water out of your brush after it's already been in it, though, huh? Probably should have gotten some, like, uh, paper towels. Whatever. So it's a terrible idea to paint my diploma. Not because you shouldn't paint your diploma. Which, actually, you know what? You probably shouldn't. But... Too late. Okay, so for the l final conspiracy theory, I wanted to talk about one that I briefly touched on uh, earlier. And don't, government, don't come for me for saying this, please, because uh, it's just a theory. I feel like the cure for cancer is out there, but they don't give it to us because it is a billion dollar industry. Now, I have a few reasons for believing this. First of all, fuck Big Pharma, number one, reason number one. Um, it's... Of, it's a million dollar industry and when you're making lots of money off of sick people and treating sick people and the families that are paying to get their sick people treated it it kind of makes a lot of sense you know because generally the government or big pharma or the medical companies don't give a shit about us they'll charge overage prices for insulin like I believe it's $700 in America to get insulin when it's a life-saving thing, but they don't care because they know you need it, so they're gonna make a fuck ton of money off of you with it. One time my dad went into an ER, came out with a thousand dollar bill, and all they did was look at him. And they looked at his head, said, yeah, you have a concussion. Go take some aspirin or something. They didn't give him the aspirin, by the way. They didn't write a prescription for him. They just said, yeah, go home, take some aspirin, dumb bitch. So generally, you know, in America, they don't give a fuck about us. They make us pay huge, super outrageous prices for insurance when you know we need that and the best insurance is going to run you up to like four thousand dollars they're still going to make you pay something even with that four thousand dollars they're like we're only going to cover so much of it even though you pay this outrageous amount of money so good luck do your best don't go poor when you get diagnosed with something terrible so knowing the attitude of big pharma and the pharmaceutical companies that sort of are hugely prevalent in America, it would not strike me as surprising if they had the cure for cancer and were hiding it from us because it's so, it's such a booming industry. And I understand they could make money off of the cure, but then there's not as many sick people to treat. Think about how cancer is sort of a long-term thing. If they cured it right then and there, then they would only be making money from the initial cure. 
but because they hide it, it brings them in more money because these people have to stay longer in the hospital, come back for remission, come back for chemo, not uh, remission, just chemo, and they just, it's a lot of money, you know? I actually just watched a documentary not too long ago where they stated that the person who actually used to be a lobbyist for these um, medical technology that yet to be tested, people make money off of it, they don't really care about the people in another situation, except it's not medicine, it's medical technology. He actually fucking runs the FDA. Who let him do that? So yeah, of course they're not gonna care about us. Of course they're not gonna give us the cure for cancer because we got that fucking guy running the FDA, not only that, and they're making billions of dollars off of us. Also, again, I'm not really painting anything coherent. The book was because I thought it would be really pretty and it's a long-term book. Diploma, not so much. I'll wash this off later. And I'm not really finished with this drawing, but I'm finished with speaking and I'm finished with getting myself in trouble with the government. Just kidding. Probably, hopefully won't happen. Sorry, government. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see me do more stuff like this, put it down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys. Bye. Mwah.